What's up, everybody? Well, Armory Crate updated, so I figured I would make another quick video running around it. I don't think too many things changed, if anything, but figured it's a new skin and whatnot. People might want to refresh on it, so figured might as well just make a video real quick. It's not going to be too awful long, because there's not too much to go over, but I figured people would appreciate it. So, without any further ado, let's get started. All right, well... They changed this armory crate around, so I figured let's just take a quick look around all the different screens again. So, right here we got like temperature and whatnot, then we got our CPU stats over here still, with our usage and our memory frequency, temperature, the voltage, GPU stats, memory and storage, and then you got fan speed down here and the decibels of it. And then you got all your system configurated ones here. Then you can move down here and click on these little guys. And it'll just kind of move over. And if you can see, you got like your launcher cage, your Panarios, game launcher. Click this again. Then you got your My Profile, which you can log into and whatnot. And then there's nothing else, but I'm pretty sure you could add some more here. So let's go back here, put that stock. And then we can, we're on the Windows right now. Now we can go over to Silent. And it'll still just, you know, go through the same different things that it would do before. Between silent performance, turbo, and manual. The temperature really dropped once we put it down to silent, since mine has turns off turbo completely. And then we got performance, which is just the same as it ever was. And then we got turbo which is basically Azus being like, all right, we're just going to like put everything to the max and let fans and everything go crazy. And then here's your manual. You got your fan speed, which it messed this one up. I'm going to have to mess with that. You got different, uh, different uh, profiles you can save there. And then you got your GPU fan here, which I've already done. So I'm going to have to go back here real quick. And I guess I'll just do that live real quick. Let's just, uh, let's just put this back to the way I had it before. All right, no, 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 that's not what I want. All right. All right, now, move that guy up a little bit. All right. I like doing this because on manual mode, since I got that fan, uh, cooling pad, it really saves the fans because they don't have to spin as fast all the time. And then it's going to come up with this screen, hit yes, just in case it freezes or whatever, just... You know, hold the button now. Okay, moving on to the system tab now. This is where applications would be. Get your GPU power saving tab here. It lets you know all the different processes that are taking up your GPU. So if you want to save some power and battery life, kill all things in this place that you can. Now you got your lighting, your basic effects and whatnot. And if you want to do more, you can do your Aura Sync and your Aura Creator, which is a button right there. And then over here, you got your audio. Then you got your AMD graphics settings here for the uh, APU. And then sharpening. And then you got your resource monitor, which just gives you all your different CPU frequencies, temperatures, usages of various things like your memory. But that's about it. Let's move on. Okay. Tab three is your Aura Sync. You can search for devices for Hue connection and whatnot, but I don't have anything like that, so we'll just cancel out of that. You've got your aura effects here. you got static, breathing, strobing, color cycle, rainbow, starry night, music, smart, adaptive color, and dark. And then you can do an aura creator here. Or if you click that, usually stuff will come up, but it's not working right now. You can reset to default there. That's just mobile connect and whatnot. That's got nothing to do with just this tab. That's always up there. Breathing in the area. Again, you got all your different settings here. And all right, I think that's pretty much good. All right, this one doesn't even work right now because I'm on my ultra wide monitor right now. But if you were just on the laptop itself, you could go through your color profiles. Lots, you know, kind of like how cell phones have color profiles make things look more vivid, make it look more natural, make it look more colorful. You can do a bunch of different things in here, but it only works for 
the on-screen laptop screen. Doesn't work for external ones. Those you'd have to go into the settings and mess with yourself. But that's about it for this one. So let's move on. This is the game library tab. So this will be this will be where all the games you have installed will show up right here. So if you like to keep them neat and you don't want to have any desktop icons, for example, you can keep them all right here. Well, and then you can also mess with their profiles and whatnot here and, you know, tell different games to do different things. And then you can change the look. You can add games here. There you go. We just changed the look. And that's about it. This is the Scenario Profile tab. You can have different names and whatnot. Link apps to the profile. So you can add all these different ones in here. Can't find an app. you got a thing you can click there too. You can have the different system configurations that will show up on that one screen. So you can do your win key. You can do your volume. You can do custom configurations. So if you add that, you can add more stuff to it. Or take stuff off if you don't want stuff there cancel out of that and that's about it this is the future or featured tab where you got like game deals from Asus and whatnot but you have to be a member of that ROG VIP thing to get any of these discounts you're seeing and whatnot and I don't know how much of this never clicked on it so if you're curious click on it might not be that bad might be super overpriced I'm not sure okay let me scroll on down here and then we'll scroll back on up. And then you got your con content platform. Just accept that. I guess I haven't clicked on that since it updated. Give it a second here. This is where you can kind of like uh, get custom skins and stuff for windows and whatnot. Or for your armory crate. I'm not quite sure which, but you can do something. Then you can do uh, the, some ROG laptops have cool screens on the back. Mine doesn't, so this is kind of moot to me. But you can get those for that. Go over to the recommended tab here. That's just some random applications that they recommend you get. And then this is where you would redeem your points and whatnot, but I'm not a member, so I can't do that. And if I, if I click log in, it takes me to this screen, and yeah, we don't want to be on that screen. So, I think that's about it. Then you got the news tab here, which is just all news about anything ASUS, and you can get links to their YouTube and their... Facebook, Twitter, what have you. So basically it's just a bunch of ads. So moving on. Then lastly, we'll just take a quick look here at the settings. And this is your themes for your armory crate if you want. They still haven't added any even after updating this whole thing. So I'm not really that hopeful they'll add any more, but you never know, they might. And then you got your update center where you keep all your stuff up to date. Mine is up to date. I try to keep it as up to date as possible now. I'm always coming in here. Then you got your about, just tells you your app version and whatnot. And then you got your service version. You can do your app diagnostics. And that's about it. Time to wrap this video up. Well, all right. That just about does it for this video. It was very quick, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now you guys know everything that Army Crate can do, even with the new weird skin that they just put out. So until the next video, peace out, guys.